first thing I'm going to talk about is that they put out, the makers of the Winnie and Pooh Blood and Honey movie put out a post uh, of the different horror versions of these public domain characters that they're going to assemble for an event movie heading in theaters to, in 2025. Yeah, I'm not really excited for this movie. I thought the first Woody and Pooh Blood and Honey movie was terrible. And then we're talking about what the inspiration for this new movie is going to be because you have the Winnie and Pooh Blood and Honey sequel. You have the Peter Pan movie coming, you have the Bambi movie coming, and you have a Pinocchio movie coming. Where you know, where these characters are available in the public domain and they're doing like hard, twisted versions of those characters. And I'm saying how it's like they're taking a space from Freddy vs. Jason, the first Avengers movie, and how like this event movie coming in 2025 is going to be where you can see where you're going to see these characters telling each other too where it's the idea of assembling a bunch of horror type characters and some of them are going to tone each other because they're all villains that sounds interesting in concept the problem i have with this shared universe this pubus is the fact that the first movie in Pooh blood blood and honey movie i thought was awful and the trailer for the sequel i don't think that looks good like, I know it has, it's going to have a slightly bigger buzzet. I can understand why the first one was a hit, because the first one was made for cheap. And, you know, the second one, even though it has a higher buzzet, it's not gonna, it's not like it's going to be a very high buzzet for the sequel either. But the first movie was just so bad. It was one of those really terrible... Like, I think the idea, this whole t idea of the shared universe could be fun. But the first movie was so bad on a character level, on the terrible dialogue. I just thought I just thought it was one of the worst horror slash movies. Like the only thing I can say about the sequel and the trailer that I saw was that, yeah, I'll say they look better the Twisted Horror versions of Pooh and all the other characters. But it looks like just as bad when it comes to the dialogue and the characters in the movie. It looks like another bad slasher movie, so like, I like the idea of taking these characters and doing hard versions of these characters and assembling them together for, like, a horror, all-rated villain movie. But if all the quality of your movie is going to be the same as the quality as that first movie, then I'm not going to be interested. And you just you already lost me with this universe when the first movie sucked. So, and it, it's just like, I just don't have any interest in, in this Pooh Hall Tristan universe when the quality of the first movie was supposed to, which was the lead, which was the setup movie for this universe was terrible. It just pulled out all my interest because I think you could have made something funny here. So, personally for me, I have no interest in this movie coming in 2025. And I don't have any interest in the Bambi one with a Peter Pan one with a Pinocchio one. I definitely don't have any interest based on what I saw for the trailer for the new Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey sequel. Just this universe, just yeah, no interest in this universe. The next thing is they put out a new Furiosa trailer. And I thought this trailer was fantastic. Like, I love the first two Man Mask movies. I enjoy Thunder Dome, it's not as good as the first two, it's the weakest out of the Mel Gibson ones. But I still think it's fun. And Man Mask Fury Road, I thought that was a fun movie. Like, the only negative I had about that movie was Tom Hardy was a bit forgettable in the role of Man Mask. And his character was treated more as a side character in that movie. That, but otherwise, I loved all the other characters in that movie. I think Fiosa was a great character in that movie. And I did come out of that movie going, oh, I would like to see more about this character. And I think this trailer does a great job where... It shows you what the story is gonna be. I think the I think like the Aston looks great in this trailer. I think Chris Hemsworth looks really great in this trailer when it comes to seeing him play a different character. I love the costume and design for his character in the trailer. I think Alan Taylor Joy is one of the best actors right now, and I just I love I love the fact in this trailer you get to see more of a backstory with my mom, so you can get more into that character. And I feel like this look, looks like it could be a perfect lead into Man Mass Fury Road, where I think Alan Taylor Joy. The perfect actress to play a younger version of the Furious character, where she'll have the humanity, the badass side of the character. And overall, I just think this was a fantastic trail. Like, I can't wait for this Furious movie. And as someone who loves the first two and thought Thunderdome and Man Mask Fury were fun, this looks like it would be really. This looks like this would be really great. This movie and just overall, I think this is just a great trail. Where it does want a new trailer, so it's just give you more about the story, what the tone is gonna be, what the story is gonna be, and 
Ella Toy Joy, Ella Toy Joy, what can I say? She's just one of the best actors right now. So I, anything she's in, I can't wait to see. The next thing is, so they put out test screenings. The first test screenings for the new Joker movie. Now I'm really excited for Joker two. I'm not gonna put out. I'm not gonna try to say the title of Joker two. Like I know it's not called Joker two. It's called something else. But I am gonna try to like pronounce the title for that movie. But I'm really excited for the Joker sequel. That and Deadpool will be one of my most anticipated comic movies this year. I know some people said they don't want to see a Joker sequel because originally this, the Joker movie was set up as a standalone movie, and it was originally. But when you have a movie that got where Joaquin Phoenix got a award for his performance in that movie and it made a billion dollars and all the way to movie, you're going to do a sequel. And I'm also somebody that's like, look, no movie needs a sequel. Every movie in history, you can say, well, that didn't need a sequel. And, you know, sometimes you get bad sequels, sometimes you get really good sequels. And it just, you know, my thing is always, if someone if someone comes along and they have a really cool, good idea to, to do a sequel where you can keep what you love about the Wizard of while do something, while doing something fresh and different at the same time, then I'm all for it if I get a good, great movie out of it. And when, I can, when it sounds like with the director... He's going for something different. I mean, you've, you've heard that it's going to have some musical elements in it. You have Lady Gaga, who I think is a really good actress. I think, like, she was great in A Star is Born. And I know she was kind of playing a character that's pretty much like her. And even a movie like House of Goosey, which I thought was okay and didn't love. I have some issues with that movie. I think she gives a good performance in that movie. So I think she's becoming a really great actress. And I think she would make a great Holly Quinn, a different Holly Quinn. But this is what the test screen said for the movie. The film is super bloody and chaotic, aggressive, solistic, but somehow true to its essence. Gaga and Mikey Phoenix are on the same level of performance. The music aspect is not present in a conventional way. They sing, of course, but it works in a very different pattern. Very witty, but effing genius. Overall, the film seeks to bind itself to captivate both critics and the general public. I love hearing this because I personally don't have a problem with the musical elements that there's going to be some of that in the movie. And I also think, I would say when you look at the character of Holly Quinn, the fact that it's going to be a, going to have kind of like a twisted love story in this Joker sequel where you have two psychopaths, I can imagine her having like maybe music scenes in her head. I mean, you had to like think to the Birds of Prey movie. You had a scene in Birds of Prey movie where she, uh, the Margo, Bobby Birds and when she was doing a musical number on her head for a scene in that movie. So, like, the fact you have two characters that are a bit, you know, that are kind of psychopaths and a bit screwed up in their heads. And I love the fact it says also that it's going to be dark, bloody, because, to me, the first Joker movie did a great job with its tone. And if you do a Joker movie, you got to have it bloody and violent and dark, like the first movie. And I also like the fact that it says a musical element is not going to be presented in a normal way like you've seen in other movies, which makes me really interested to see how they're going to do the musical element for this movie. So overall, it sounds like the test screens for the, for the Joker 2 movie sound really good, and it's a movie I definitely can't wait to see as someone who loves the first Joker movie. And from what it sounds like with the director, it definitely sounds like they're going for a different movie and they're not just like trying to make the same movie again. The last thing I'm going to talk about is Adam Wingard, who's going to be directing, who has the upcoming Godzilla X Khan New Empire movie coming out, and who also directed the first Godzilla vs. Khan movie, was talking about how that maybe the, his next project could be a Thundercats movie. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really a Thundercats fan. Like, I never watched any of the anime stuff, I didn't collect the toys, so a Thundercats movie doesn't personally interest me. But if it's his next project, and I, I like I don't know what other stuff he's directed. But if it is, and it, the trailer ends up looking interesting to me, then you know maybe I'll check it. Maybe I'll check it out. But I think this is great news for if if this ends up being his next project. If they someday someday do a Thunderbolt, not Thunderbolt, excuse me, a Thundercats movie someday. I think this is great news for fans who love Thundercats. So you know. Maybe this would be uh, a if the if they end up doing it. Maybe this Thundercats movie would be something that uh, looks interesting to me, and it'll make me a fan of Thundercats. But I think this is great, you know, potentially great news if this is this project for Thundercats fans. So that's all the movie news. Until next time, movie fans.